Hello, Stallion 3D is an excellent tool for analyzing a complete aircraft to find out such things as lift, drag, center of pressure, uh, aerodynamic centers. And uh, we can enter an aircraft in a relatively short period of time and uh, it just takes uh, about a minute to do so. First we can um, import its STL file, for example, from a program like the NASA's vehicle on Sketchpad. Here we have a, a Cirrus aircraft. Then it, we can scale the airplane uh, uh, to its correct um, dimensions. Here we have in feet. The next step is um, simply to um, set up the CFD solver that actually does the aerodynamics. And we can pick a small problem or a larger problem with um, up to uh, 2 million cubes, but here we choose 960 uh, as the maximum amount, of, maximum amount of cubes. And then we set the problem such that it can capture the, um, the sum of the, the flow physics. And then the next step is to set a computation of the main. It's a cube with a 40 meter side, and we set the north side of the cube to 20, um, 20 and 20 for the X, Y, and Z um, uh, location of the lower corner. Um, the next step is to look at the problem. Start and start with a with a with a small air foil of small wing, and we could edit that out, and then we can see um, what the actual geometry looks like. Um, here we have the the aircraft in three dimensions in Stallion 3D. We now set the flow, the flight conditions. We want to fly this thing at 100 miles an hour and we set the solver to do uh, more or less an incompressible flow. And that's it. We go ahead and we generate the grid and the program will take it from there, generates the grid and actually solve the flows. It takes about, probably for this, for about um, 800 to 900,000 cells, it will take about um, six to eight hours on a, on a notebook, a laptop computer. After a few hours, we now have some results for the aircraft. Here we are looking at the velocity um, on the surface of the aircraft. We can go to the visual visualization menu and change the option. We can look at the pressure on the surface of the aircraft. And um, we can see uh, we, we have a pressure coefficient around the aircraft. And one thing Stallion 3D does is to calculate the aerodynamic data for the aircraft. And so after a few after about 2,000 iterations, we can look at the um, the lift coefficient for the particular angle of attack. We have a lift to drag ratio. We can see the moment coefficient about the nose of the aircraft in which we can um, calculate the center of pressure um, and um, work out um, um, the angle of trim. Um, uh, we can do a similar run and then um, also compute the uh, aerodynamic center for the aircraft so we'll know where to place the center of gravity. So that's a simulation of an entire aircraft using Stallion 3D. Once you have this um, SDL file, it can be set up within a minute or so, and then the program would automatically do, do the rest, uh, um, generate the grid, uh, you know, about this complex shape, and then it will um, run the CFD solver, which in this case an oil solver, compressible oil solver, and then um, compute the aerodynamic results.